What's going on guys? Sorry in advance if I sound a little like out of it. I just actually had my appendix removed. Well, only only part of it. But I did it myself. It's it's surprisingly easy. You just have to scroll down to it and just delete it. Do you get it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, but I actually did have to delete some of my appendix because I didn't need a certain derivation in there. But I just felt like making a really bad joke. Okay, I'm moving on. Today is Monday, but when you see this, it'll be Tuesday, because I'm filming it on Monday, which is today, which is Monday. So on Mondays, I have to work a lot, like, as a tutor. And then I also have my gen eds, so I have to take my English class and my programming class on Mondays as well. So there's nothing physics related at all. So, consi so considering that, I actually got a lot of work done for physics, because, well... I drive myself crazy on Mondays if I just do gen ed stuff. So today I got a good amount of work done for my thesis. So I wrote a lot of the appendix, which is why I made that really, really good joke earlier. I don't know if you remember it. <laughs> but yeah, so I um, I wrote a lot of the appendix. So I derived the Numeroth method, which is the method that I use to solve the Schrodinger equation numerically. And then I also uh, derived the static potential for hydrogen, which is the test case that I've been using to make sure that my differential equation solver works. Then I also wrote a bit of the introduction and I made a few minor changes to my code to make it run a little bit faster. You guys want to see a little bit of it? I'll just give you a little sneak peek. Look at that. Okay. That's actually the main code that I've been working on. So that's one that's actually calculating the triple differential cross sections. And then I have other ones that do other stuff like plot stuff or just calculate the wave function as a whole. So I, I got rid of the whole thing where I was defining Bessel functions for each angular momentum quantum number, so for 0, 1, and 2, and just replace that with a general Bessel function as well as a Newman function. And now I can loop over it for any arbitrary amount of angular momenta I want. And the reason that was important was because I'm summing over something at the end when I'm calculating the triple differential cross sections. I'm summing over something that's in terms of the phase shift that is in terms of the Bessel functions. And when you're doing that, you're hoping that the uh, that the series converges after a certain L. Um, spoiler alert, it doesn't converge after just three. So I needed to generalize this stuff. That way I can loop it as many times as I want. And uh, so yeah, that, that's some nice progress. The reason I forced myself to do all this stuff today, even though I really didn't have too much time um, for, for physics, was because I'm meeting with my thesis advisor tomorrow which is for you guys today, so when you're watching this, I will have already met with him. This is hard to keep track of, but uh, so I'm meeting with him tomorrow to show him what I have so far with my thesis paper, as well as my code, so that he can hopefully assign me the rest of my project, which is calculating triple differential cross sections for the electron-positron scattering. I have a feeling he's going to be really pleased with what I have so far, just because um, he's probably not used to my code working. So when I tell him I calculated something else and it also gave me the right answer, he's going to be pretty happy. Also, here's a little sneak peek of the, the thesis paper. I'm just going to show you part of the appendix, nothing to get too excited about, but here. Here is the part of the derivation for the static potential. And this is why we use LaTeX, ladies and gentlemen. Just look how pretty that looks. Oh my god. And that's just like rough draft stuff, so that's not going to be exactly what it says in the appendix, because there's like some grammar errors here and there. And I was getting kind of lazy with the derivation, and I said things like, orthogonality of spherical harmonics gives, instead of just showing what the integral actually gives. So there's some stuff that's even going to be added to that. But this is just big picture stuff, so I can go to my advisor tomorrow and say, this is what I think is going to go in each of these sections. And then he can tell me whether or not certain sections even need to be there, what I need to add, and um, just kind of guide me a little bit more along the way. It feels really good to finally be making progress in this thesis. That's all for this video, though. I Nothing else really uh, substantive, I guess, happened today. Glad I got to work on the thesis. Stoked for tomorrow to meet with my advisor and actually have some stuff to give him. Let me know in the comment section what uh, your... Uh, social security number is. I'll see you guys there. Don't, actually, don't do that.